Hello, my name is Deborah Dawson and I am the Nurse Consultant for Critical Care and the Clinical Lead for National Early Warning Scoring at St George's. I hope you find this short film will provide you with some information about our exciting project using technology to improve National Early Warning Scoring recording and thus we hope the timeliness and quality of patient care. The National Early Warning Score was introduced in 2012 to standardise the assessment of acute illness severity in the NHS. Sir Richard Thompson, the then President of the Royal College of Physicians, said in his foreword that however well constructed and accepted, a national standard cannot change practice unless it is adopted by every hospital and underpinned by education and training. St George's was an early implementer of this system and has attempted to be creative in its implementation by listening to staff concerns such as the poor lighting at night, making the national charts very difficult to read. We therefore employed the services of a graphic designer and specifically designed our paper chart to work in the ward environment. We then designed a presentation that reflected that chart. Observations underpin the care and treatment we provide. However, many routine observations are measured and recorded by unqualified staff who may not recognise the significance of any changes. This is precisely the reason for the early warning score. We believe this will only work if we provide regular and consistent education. Audit at St George's has shown improvements since the introduction of the National Early Warning Score and the education designed to accompany it. However, as you can see, we still have room for improvement. Last year, St George's was fortunate to receive an award from the Nursing Technology Fund to implement a bedside observation device that would send the completed observations and the early warning score directly to the electronic documentation. Importantly, this enables the nurse to input the complete set of observations, including oxygen and level of consciousness, at the bedside. The last screen on the device displays the early warning score, providing an immediate visual prompt for the nurse for escalation. To enable the monitors to upload the readings direct to the patient record, we must identify the patient and clinician on the monitor. To do this, the monitor has a barcode scanner which is used to scan the patient wristband and the clinician badge. The vital sign readings are then taken as usual and once complete the cuff and probes are removed from the patient. The clinician then uses the touch screen to enter the remaining information required to complete the full set of observations. Finally, the clinician reviews the observations and if they are happy, presses a save button on the screen. The early warning score is displayed and the results sent to the electronic patient record. To ensure every opportunity to inform staff of the early warning score and to teach best practice when recording observations, we have put together a new teaching package as part of this process. I would like to thank everybody for listening and I hope that you found this short video informative.